Hey guys, this is Alan Kavorkov from BeTheClub.com and welcome to the next installment of Skill Crane Tutorials. Uh, for this episode, the National Entertainment Network sent me uh, Tom and Jerry uh, and uh, this Pirate Garfield. Um, now the Tom and Jerry have been around a while and I'm sure you've seen them already and they are pretty easy to win so I'm not going to spend too much time uh, but I will demonstrate um, how to win these guys. Uh, Garfield, on the other hand, he is a bit of good news and bad news. Uh, the bad news is that he is uh, pretty big and heavy. Uh, probably one of the heavier plush I've seen. Uh, the good news is that he has a nice round body, kind of similar to uh, Betty Boop here. So, uh, you know, the regular the large sugar loaf claw should definitely be able to uh, get a good gr grasp around his, you know, middle section here. So, what I would suggest is to try to get the two uh, claw fingers above his arms and one between his legs and you have to make sure that it closes all the way. Um, you'll see that in my demonstration that if even if it closes almost all the way but not quite it'll definitely slip out. Um, he is definitely on the heavier side so you have to make sure that the claw is closed all the way which means there's got to be some room underneath him um, the good news about this as well is that he, since he has a really long body and a large hat, when he is laying on something, there's a good chance that there's going to be some space underneath him. Um, it's because he kind of creates a bit of a bridge. Um, so uh, if you're playing a weak claw, mm, you may have some trouble, but um, on your average sugar loaf machine, it should definitely be a possibility. I would use, um, he has a, one large leg, so I would definitely use that as a tool. Uh, to uh, move him around a little bit just to uh, get him in a better position uh, but aside from that uh, if he uh, in, in many cases when, you know, when the machine is being stocked obviously he's going to be sitting upright his uh, tall hat may allow you to uh, you know rake him down uh, which is what I'm going to try as well um, if you have any prizes around him you might want to clear some space then rake him down and have him either lay on his belly or on his butt and as long as there's a little bit of room underneath you should be able to grab him around his body. Um, so uh, let's give it a shot and uh, see what it looks like. Alright as usual I like to start with uh, Betty Boop, uh, the birthday bash Betty Boop that we uh, many of us have uh, tried to win at some point. Um, this uh, demonstrates uh, the strength of my claw so you can see um, how it compares to the uh, Sugarloaf machines. Um, I, I definitely uh, play a lot and uh, tweak it, tweak my machine to try to get it as close to Sugarloaf um, strength as possible so that it's a you know, fair comparison. You can see that it takes just the right kind of grab around her uh, cupcake to uh, pick her up. Obviously if my claw is too strong it'll pick her up right away. If it's too weak it'll never pick her up. But here, um, it usually takes me uh, about four or five tries, depending on how she's positioned. Uh, hopefully on the next try we'll be able to uh, pick her up and move on. Yep, that's a good grab right there. You can see how the claw is closed all the way, the bottom of the the base of the claw is pretty much up against the cylinder that's when it, you can see that the claw is closed alright now we uh, are gonna have 25 plays um, I'm pretty sure that should be sufficient to uh, win all three of these guys we'll start with uh, with Jerry I'm gonna try to go for one of his legs and, and uh, get him on his side and not quite what I had in mind but uh, I'm these guys are so uh, light and small that they should be um, you should have no trouble picking them up of course it's best when they are laying flat on their back or on their bellies but um, you know it shouldn't take too long to, to get them into that position
Uh, oops. Well, I think we'll consider that a win. Uh, let's go for Tom. Again, he's you know pretty similar in size to Jerry, so you know unless I screw up like this, uh, which I do not recommend because you're just pretty much uh, wasting your money here. Uh, definitely uh, try to get him to lay flat on his back or or his belly, and uh, yeah, you should be able to grab him. I think I just stabbed him here, so that's not going to work. A few more tries, I think we should be able to get him out. Uh, that's close. Oh, by his feet. Alright, well that works too. Alright, uh, now with Garfield, I'm going to try to rake him down so that he's uh, laying flat. Um, it doesn't look like he is willing to cooperate, so I'm going to try to use uh, one of his legs to uh, pull him up and get him to lay down. Well, that worked out pretty well. Uh, he's not quite positioned um, as I was hoping, but close enough. So I'll just uh, I'll try again to use one of his legs to flip him over and if that doesn't work then I'll just go for his body and see if I can grab him around his arms and between the legs I will need to flip him over just a little bit more though before I can do that that's a little closer I was kind of hoping to push on his um, hat, but that didn't happen. Now just keep in mind that he is very heavy, so um, if you do get around his body, you have to have to make sure that the claw can close entirely all the way around him. And he's just the right size for that, which is very nice. Uh, it's kind of similar to uh, Betty Boop's uh, cupcake, uh, maybe even a tad smaller than her, uh, which is um, which should make it a little bit easier. That would have been decent, but I think one of the fingers um, stabbed his leg. Um, that's close, but not quite. And the goal here is to get one of the claw fingers between his legs so that it can get a good grab just like this one. And as you can see, he is definitely winnable. Now, of course, he's pretty big, and he may land on the on the on the barrier of the prize chute. Uh, so let's um, uh, let's uh, do a little demo here. If if you happen to drop him, I still have eight plays. So uh, let's um, try use one of his legs to flip him in. If if that's what happens to you, his legs are definitely uh, thick enough. To be able to flip them right in. And that's that. Alright guys, that's all I have for these three. Uh, if you ever try to win any of them, I'm hoping that um, these tips will help you. Uh, I do have a little announcement to make. I recently started using Twitter. And uh, I only have a few followers right now, so I, I would appreciate it if, if you could uh, follow me. If you use Twitter, check out uh, at BeTheClaw uh, or Twitter.com slash BeTheClaw. Um, once I hit 30 followers, I know that sounds like a pretty pathetic number, but we all got to start somewhere. Uh, once I hit 30, I will be doing a giveaway. Uh, this will be the top prize. It's a remote controlled spider. Here's the remote. Uh, you can turn his body around like so with a little headlight and moves back and forth. Very neat little toy. Comes with batteries. There's three in the body and two in the remote. Um, they come in different colors. This just happens to be um, the orange one that my daughter picked out. She loves it. Now, this is going to go to uh, the first place winner, and they will also receive this awesome keychain. I had it customized with um, the Be the Claw here on the front and also on the back with some information. 
has a little plastic teddy bears inside probably the coolest keychain i have ever seen uh, this is actually a replica of uh, a toy soldier uh, claw machine um, it's a very neat uh, very neat keychain so um, this will go to uh, the first place second place and third place winners uh, the first place will also receive the spider as well so um, definitely some neat prizes i think uh, you will enjoy so um, if you use Twitter or if you know someone who um, likes claw machines and uses Twitter, please let them know to check out at Be The Claw. Thanks very much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, good luck uh, winning Tom, Jerry, and Garfield. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.